Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be going up on Christmas Day, so I do want to say Merry Christmas. And if you guys don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you are having a happy holidays. And today's video is going to be just like a little get ready with me slash Q&A, get to know me type video. I just want to like give an introduction of myself. I never really did that on this YouTube channel. So I'm just going to give you a little inside peek into who is Hi, it's Vicky. So, but we're also going to get ready at the same time because I need to do my makeup for the day. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with the makeup and we'll get right into it. So I'm gonna put on my mint cocoa chapstick. Oh, sorry, holiday cocoa chapstick. And I'm gonna combo two different primers, the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. This is pretty new to me. Um, I like it so far. And then the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Face Primer. This is just kind of one of those ones that's like a pore filling primer. And it's just like a little trial size. I think this is a deluxe sample. This one's like a little sample size, so gonna go in with both of those but basically hello guys my name is Vicky and my actual name is Victoria but all of my friends call me Vicky my family is the only one that calls me Victoria um, I actually kind of prefer Victoria now that I'm older but Vicky is really fine too so I go by both really but usually I can tell if it's a family member or a friend calling me like when I'm out and about or something that I can tell oh that's gonna be a friend oh that's gonna be a family member it's kind of funny, um, but I am 23. I live in Houston, Texas. Um, I just graduated from LSU in 2019. Um, I graduated in the spring of 2019 and I had, or I have a advertising degree from the School of Mass Communications. So I learned pretty much everything from like journalism um, to advertising. So. That is a little overview of me. Right now, I am working in marketing at an IT company in North Houston. Um, I do marketing for them and then I also kind of run the front desk and I just do, I wear many hats at my work, so. Um, but I mainly do marketing for them, like their website, some branding stuff, some um, like pamphlets and PDFs and things like that. I'm gonna go in with the ABH Luminous Foundation right here. And so, um, I am a Texas Tiger. I love LSU, I love LSU football. Um, my mom is also a graduate of LSU, so we both kind of share that. Me and my mom are besties, and that's kind of why I chose to go to LSU, but they also have a really great mass communication program, so another reason why I chose to go there. And really one of the biggest reasons I chose to go there was for the LSU Tiger Band, which is the marching band. So I have been in color guard since high school. So I did eight years of color guard, four years in high school and four years in college. Sorry, the lights changing, the sun just like went behind the clouds. Um, and color guard was kind of my life in high school and in college. Um, if you don't know, those are the girls that are spinning and twirling flags on the field with the marching band. Um, they're not the dance team, but sometimes the dance team will also um, spin flags as well at schools that don't have like a big color guard. I know my cousins used to do that. But yeah, I've spun flags, rifles, and sabers before. And yes, they are metal swords. That was scary, um, but a lot, a lot of fun. I loved being in color guard. I was a captain in my high school and um, I really, really loved LSU color guard. It was so much fun. We do um, field shows and we also dance in the stands. And I think my favorite part was dancing in the stands. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. Um, and I got to go to every single home football game. So I have a huge appreciation for LSU football as well. We did not do good this year, but last year we were amazing. And that was like an unbelievable year. Also in college, I was in the band fraternity. I know, total band geek over here. Um, yeah, I was in the band fraternity. Um, 
And basically we just did service for the bands at LSU. So that includes the concert band, the ones that like sit down and do concerts um, and the marching band. And so that was a lot of fun and I did hold a um, leadership position in the um, band fraternity Kappa Kappa Psi, if you've ever heard of them. Um, that was a lot of fun and where I met my BFFs and we lived together for two years of college and they're probably going to be the girls that end up as my bridesmaids in my wedding. <laughs> Too bad they don't live in Houston so that's been like really sad and hard to meet of course during pandemic times, um, hard to meet up but I try to see them as often as I can and I really don't keep up with people from high school. I know it's kind of sad but honestly this year has been really crazy obviously because COVID um, and last year when I had just gotten back home from college, I do live at home with my parents too. Last year when I had just gotten home from college, I like barely had any time to breathe because I started my job and that was like super stressful. So that was crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the pretty vulgar matte about its setting powder. 2020 has been super, super crazy. I am very thankful to have kept my job we stayed open. We um, are considered essential personnel because IT, you know, we keep businesses up and running basically. You need technology, you need to be connected to the internet, you need your backup storage or everything like that. So we were still a necessity, so we never closed during the pandemic. Um, gonna go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and use that bronzer. But yeah, we never closed during the pandemic. I was still going to work, so I stayed sane, which is good. <laughs> And um, I said 2020 would be the year of health, basically just coming back from college, like I feel like, I don't know, maybe, maybe other people did this, but I did not go to my doctor's appointments. I did not go to the dentist during college. I was too busy. And every time when I came home from college, I just wanted to sleep. So I had not been to the dentist and the doctor and all that in four years. So um, that was definitely a priority this year. And I can safely say that I completed that New Year's resolution of getting my health in check. I went to my dentist. I got my wisdom teeth out earlier in the year. I, um, I'm going in with a blush from the ambient lighting palette. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix these two actually. Um, I went to an allergist and um, I have really horrible seasonal allergies and I am finally getting them under check. Um, you can actually do um, it's like immersion therapy almost where they inject you with the things that you're allergic to in very 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 minuscule amounts and they build you up um, my brother did it when he was little um, and so now I'm finally getting started on it and very happy about that so in a few years I should be done with that I know it takes two years I'm going in with the highlight right here um, but then I will finally not be allergic to cats. I love cats and I'm actually slightly allergic to dogs, which is sad, but we've never had either because my whole family has horrible allergies. There's that, let's do the brows. I'm gonna go in with the Chella Beauty Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. I've used this literally all year long and I still have so much left of it. It's kind of crazy. Um, so this YouTube channel, basically I started YouTube in college, um, I really wanted to do a YouTube channel when I was in middle school. I loved watching YouTube in middle school. I've always loved doing my makeup. My mom is a Mary Kay sales director, so I grew up around makeup. Um, she was always, you know, she sells makeup, she does her makeup, she was always um, doing that. And of course, you know, as a little girl, I want to model my mom. <laughs> and so I've always been playing with makeup. And um, in middle school, she finally let me start to play with makeup. She only gave me a brown eyeliner, a very uh, light brown eyeshadow and mascara, and that was it. She was like, that's all you're getting. Like, I'm not starting you off on black eyeliner and having you look like a raccoon, which thank you, mom. Um, I'm very grateful for that. But I've always loved YouTube. I started off watching beauty YouTube and um, like jam, uh, jam Beauty, 89, um, uh, Bethany Moda, Michelle, ooh, Michelle Pham, um, like literally all the OG YouTubers, I was obsessed. And in middle school, I asked my mom if I could start a YouTube channel, and you know, she was like, 
No, I'm sorry. There's a lot of creepy people on the internet, which understandable. Thank you for looking out for me, mom. Um, and she didn't trust that. Which nowadays, uh, young kids have YouTube channels, but they have like their parents as their moderator or something, um, which is really good. I'm glad that they have an outlet like that. Um, and probably if I would have, I always say if I would have started my YouTube channel in middle school, I would have been like millions of followers by now, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe not. We, we, we will never know. So anyways, um, yeah. So in college, I don't remember what prompted it. But I just remember being like, this is finally the time that I can do YouTube. Like I'm out of high school, I have some extra time, which really I did not have a lot of extra time because being in college is very stressful. And then I was also in a fraternity and I was in the band. So I never had a weekend to myself. I don't know how I ever thought that I was going to do that, but I did do it for a little bit. I did Vlogmas in 2018 where I vlogged every single day and uploaded every single day. Um, and yeah, I did that kind of like sporadically throughout college and I really only uploaded like makeup videos, makeup hauls, makeup tutorials and that kind of thing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> did you see that? Oh my gosh. But um, it never really took off for me because I couldn't stay consistent with it. And really I couldn't stay consistent because college was too much, like too taxing. So I really didn't have enough free time to dedicate to a YouTube channel, but I tried. And then I've always kind of kept up with the beauty community. And I think around the end of last year, I actually, I don't remember when I started my Instagram. My beauty Instagram is also at Hi, it's Vicky. Um, but I started my Instagram, I think when I started my YouTube channel. And I got back on Instagram before I got back on YouTube last year, and I found the Project Painting Community, which is basically, if you're ever overwhelmed with your makeup collection, you think you have too much and you're not, you feel like you're not using it at all. That's how I found the Project Painting Community. It just means you set something that you want to get use on or you want to finish, and you have a project that you put in, let's say this eyeshadow palette, and I wanna finish this one eyeshadow right here in my project pan and I wanna finish it. Pan means hitting pan on here, which means, you know, getting to the bottom, that little like metal pan at the bottom. And I found that community and I was just like amazed. I never knew that that thing existed. I never knew that people also felt like me, that they were overwhelmed with their collection. So last November, I this is the Milani eye primer. I purged my collection. I got rid of everything that was old. I was also having some like eczema problems. So I figured it was because some of my makeup was expired. So I just got rid of all my expired makeup, anything that I didn't want in November of 2019. And then I started on my YouTube channel again at the beginning of this year. Um, kind of once the pandemic hit, I was like really bored <laughs> and um, wasn't doing much besides staying at home and so you know i was like let me get back into my youtube channel but this time i'm going to do project pans project use it ups and i really have been focusing more on my bath and body works collection so my body care and my candles um let me pull out some eye brushes i'm just gonna do like a really simple eye look um i'm gonna go in with vanilla wafers and plenty of dough it's just like two matte lid shades I think I'm going to go in with For the Gram, this like brown right here in the crease. But yeah, I decided to get back into YouTube since I had a lot of free time and um, I was still overwhelmed with my collection, both of makeup and of body care. But I have not worn a lot of makeup this year just because wearing the masks, I just didn't even feel like wearing any makeup. Recently I have been wearing eye makeup to work, um, but I have not been wearing face makeup. And also that's just kind of to keep the mask knee, at, mask knee at bay. I don't know if you guys have heard of mask acne, but I had that pretty bad when we started wearing masks um, in the first place. So it's gotten better, but I still had those two right there that you saw that are definitely from wearing the mask for so long. Um, But yeah, I finally found um, the like Bath and Body Works community and the Project Panning community, and that has really, really 
revolutionized the way that I see my makeup and my collections and stuff, um, that I want to get use out of things that I own, and I don't want to buy unnecessary things. So all of 2020, I have not bought a single eyeshadow or lipstick, which is crazy, but those are the two things that I have the most of and that I don't use as often as I should. Like a face primer I'll use every day. But I don't necessarily do eyeshadow every day and I don't necessarily do a lipstick every day. Maybe I'll just do chapstick or, you know, like a lip balm. So, um, yeah, that has been really, really awesome this year. And um, it's helped me really see how much I use and, you know, how much I really need. Because consumerism is real, you guys. <laughs> um, consumerism is definitely real and it makes you think you need everything when you really don't. Okay, I'm going to go in with... Um, I think, I think I'm going to mix Candy Queen and Lick the Spoon. It's like a, a gold and then like shimmery champagne color. Um, I'm going to try to go in with a brush, but usually these shadows are better with your finger. Oh, it actually looks fine. So yeah, that's kind of been how my channel has been for the past year. And thank you so much if you are a new subscriber. It really means a lot to me. And I just enjoy YouTube. I really, it'd be great to get a, get to a thousand subscribers and be able to monetize things, but I know you don't make that much money anyways off of ads and stuff, which is fine. I don't really care. I just enjoy having a creative outlet um, because, you know, at my work, I do creative things as well, but this is different. This is kind of like I can do anything that I want, anything that I think of, I can do. And it's just been really fun to kind of learn you know, learn how to do all those things, learn how to edit, learn how to upload. Um, I've made so many friends here on YouTube um, from other channels. And I'm going in with Cookie Cutter, by the way, in the inner corner. That's, where is it? Oh, it's this shade. It's another like champagne shade. Um, and it, it's just been so much fun. So um, if you've ever thought about doing a YouTube channel, do it, girl. <laughs> or boy, do it. So, or they, them, do it. Um, it's so much fun. So, I don't know. This year has been kind of like the year of realizing that you can just have fun for the sake of having fun, Victoria. It doesn't have to be, not everything has to be this crazy, amazing project. I'm going to go in with some liner. I think I'm just going to smoke out the lash line with this brown in Cookie Call. And some of you guys have also asked, um, going back to like my job, some of you guys have also asked like, why do I work 12 hour shifts? Um, because we are IT and we're open 24-7 basically, um, we have people that do 12-hour shifts, so I'll do 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And another person does a night shift, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Um, and we switch off doing that. Um, so I only work three days a week and then four days a week the next week. So they alternate back and forth each week, um, which is really nice to have my Mondays off and some Tuesdays off so that I can do my doctor's appointments and go grocery shopping and not have to deal with the crowds um but i'm really excited to move to a i think we're gonna do eight to four soon um just because i'll be like the rest of corporate america you know um and i know the traffic is gonna be bad and i'm gonna have have to pay for more gas and blah 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 but It'll be worth it to come home and drink a glass of wine and be able to wind down because it does take me like 45 minutes to an hour to get to and from work. So I leave at seven and I get home at nine. So I get home at nine and I literally have to be in, in my bed falling asleep for 10 or 10.30. So I have like an hour to come home and relax, which is really just me showering, maybe having a little bit of ice cream and going to bed. So it would be nice to be able to like relax on weekdays, um, coming home from work. Cause I've done this, this 12 hour shift for a year and a half. So I've really enjoyed it. It's been great, but I'm ready for a switch. I just went in with a nude eyeliner from Essence in the shade Silky Nude on the um, lower lash line. And I think I'm gonna go in with a black on the upper lash line. This is, I think Urban Decay Perversion. It's so small. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty much almost done with this, but I like to go in with a black uh, eyeliner to tightline the upper waterline if I'm only doing like shadow as my eyeliner. So a few random facts about me while I do my mascara. I'm gonna do 
the Mary Kay Lash Love Fanorama Mascara. I am Cajun French and Italian, so um, I have a really large family. I grew up with cousins that are my age, and that was honestly the best. Family means everything to me. I always say if I ever went on like The Bachelor Bachelorette, my, you know, everybody has their main theme. My main theme would be family. <laughs> a few of my favorite shows, I love watching The Bachelor. Um, I just got into Housewives of Salt Lake City. Um, I used to watch Housewives in like middle, not middle school, in high school with my mom um, and I just kind of like stopped watching it. So I feel like um, starting on a brand new series will be really good. So um, I've been enjoying that. I love, love, love Star Wars. We are a Star Wars family. Um, Mandalorian. That is Cray. I love anything Disney. I love all the Disney princesses. I think my favorite princesses, I have to choose two, would be Belle, the original Belle movie. Not Belle, the original Beauty and the Beast movie. Um, Belle is my all-time favorite. And then my newer favorite is Rapunzel from Tangled. Oh, I just love Tangled. I could watch that movie all day, every day, sing along to every song. But I really love Disney. I've been to Disney World four times. I went twice when I was younger and twice with the LSU Tiger Band on um, bowl trips. So that was awesome to get to go to Disney World twice for free. That was really great. I love, love, love Gilmore Girls. That is my favorite show of all time. I love New Girl. I'm almost finished with that. Um, one of my OG favorite shows was Team Wolf. Comment down below if you remember Team Wolf. Oh my god, it was so good. Um, hmm. Favorite Christmas movies? Elf, The Grinch, the um, Jim Carrey version, uh, Christmas with the Cranks. Oh my god, it's so funny. Um, the Polar Express, which I haven't watched yet this year, but that one always makes me cry. At the end when he can't hear the bell anymore, I just cry. I cry so hard. <laughs> We're gonna do a lip liner. This is the Lipstick Queen lip liner in nude. And then we're gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in Glazy Days. And then one final thing, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm not done talking though, so don't go away yet. Um, I feel like 2020 was a great reset year to kind of rethink our priorities and you know where we want to really spend our money and that's kind of what I wanted to reflect with this channel. I know I do a lot of hauls but really the first six months of 2020 I didn't buy anything makeup, hair, or body care or candle related um, just because I was trying to get through my collection and I was really comfortable with where I was at in like June, July. And so I was like, you know what girl, just buy because 2020 has been hard and you love fall and you love winter and you love all the scents that are associated with it and all the flavors and everything. So just have fun because 2020 is crazy enough without you having to limit yourself. I think for 2021, I am also going to not buy as much in the first six months. I don't think I'm gonna do a no buy specifically. I think I'm gonna do a low buy, which is what in the Project Pan community, um, a low buy is like you try not to buy stuff, but if you buy a few things then it's okay, you're just trying to buy less um, than you usually would. Um, a no buy is where you don't buy anything. No buying. <laughs> low buying. There we go. Um, so I think I'm going to do a low buy and just try to get use out of some stuff in my collection, get my numbers down and my inventories and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it for this, this video. Um, I will say I am going to go on like a week hiatus kind of thing. I'm going to take a little break um, just because it's been a lot uploading every single day. Um, I do think, however, I'm going to keep um, vlogging for 2021. I think I'm going to keep up like weekly vlogs and just share with you guys when I feel like it. And I think I am going to keep up at least two uploads a week, if not three. Um, that's kind of going to be the schedule, but I'm going to plan most of that out next week while I'm on a break. Um, I just need a little time to decompress and kind of de-stress and just spend time with my family. Um, I really hope that you guys had an amazing Christmas. I hope that you enjoyed time with your family and if you didn't get to see them, I'm so sorry. I hope that you got to at least talk with them over the phone, FaceTime and all that kind of stuff and um, you know, still see those loved ones that you care dearly about. 
and um, I really hope that you have a happy holidays and um, a happy new year because I will see you guys in the new year in 2021. How weird is that? That's so crazy to think about. Thank you guys so, so much for a great, great year. Thank you for a great 2020. It's been amazing with you guys. I love chatting with you. Thank you so much for all of your support and everything, all the likes, all the comments, even just the views. I love it. Thank you guys so, so much. It's really helped me a lot through, you know, this pandemic year and to make it not as crazy and, you know, taxing. So I just want to say thank you so, so much for an amazing 2020. And with that, I will see you guys in 2021. Bye.